it's going to be tough. It's going to be a real challenge. Having looked at this track, it's really, it's really a piece to, to dig into and it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a hard Saturday, so we need to put all those clears on the board. It's not the most experienced team, but all have done very well, four star, and so I'm looking uh, forward that we make a good result here. Riding beautifully and then the results will come. That is my expectation. Always the same. My advice for the riders would be, first of all, ride well and then enjoy. This week, leg two of the FEI eventing Nations Cup comes from Stregem in the southwest of Poland. The Stregona Equestrian Centre hosts the second of six legs in a series that will culminate at the FEI eventing Nations Cup final in Bokolo in October. Team Germany were the winners of the 2019 and 2020 editions of the Stregem Nations Cup event, but they would have to settle for second spot after the dressage phase this year. Third line rider Josefa Sommer was the best of the team, scoring 30.5 penalties to leave her in fifth individually. She was followed by Senior Nations Cup debutant Eleanor Otto Early and Finest Fellow with a score of 33.3. The German happy with the job done so far. Confirmation then that Germany sits second behind hosts Poland after the dressage phase, Sweden in third with Belgium and Italy rounding off the table. The five nations were about to take on Della Chiesa's course with 30 fences and an optimum time of 6 minutes 46 seconds. With less than 12 penalties separating all five teams, it was all to play for in Stregem. Last out on course for the Germans was 26-year-old Eleanor Otto Early and she was to back up the scores already posted by her teammates. Once again, no jumping penalties and 16.8 time penalties meant Germany were hot on the heels of the leaders. Back to the hosts and after a tricky start, the team were looking to put things right thanks to their two most experienced members. Firstly, Jan Kaminski and 11-year-old Gelding Jard secured one of the quickest and cleanest rounds of the day. Zero for jumping and 9.2 for time saw the combination climb into the top 10 of the individual standings and lay the foundations for a potentially historic day for Team Poland. Last line rider Mateusz Kiemper took on a course he knows well and added just 12.8 penalties out on course. Once again, no jumping penalties were to be added and he came home a happy man, knowing he had secured his nation top spot after the phase. Poland led after the cross-country phase, with Germany hot on their heels, the table remaining the same after phase two. This careful and clear round from Manon Minna was two seconds over the time, but crucially meant the team leapfrogged Sweden and completed the Nations Cup second leg in third place. Back to Germany and Eleanor Otto early. The debutante secured her team's first clear round of the day aboard Finest Fellow, once again cranking up the pressure on Poland. That pressure was again not handled by the Polish team. Victoria Knapp and Quintus 134 had the first fence down and unfortunately for them another four followed. This was then followed up with another 16 penalties from Jan Kaminski and Jard. The pair also had the first and last fences down, to the frustration of both the crowd and himself. It had been a disappointing day in an otherwise wonderful competition for the pair. Fan favourite Mateusz Kiemper did give the crowd something to cheer about with this excellent clear round, but by then the damage had been done the team just missing out on top spot on home soil, but they could hold their heads high. <laughs> 
final German rider, Josefa Sommer, had four fences in hand when she came into the Stragona arena. And she never looked in danger with her partner, Simple Smile. They did have one down, hitting the back rail of the Oxer at fence six, but returned home with just the four penalties to confirm another victory in the FEI eventing Nations Cup of Poland for Hans Meltzer and his team. A perfect result for Germany, three wins in a row in Stregem, after catching Poland in the final stage. Poland complete in second spot, their best result in a Nations Cup and Belgium wrap up the top three after a strong day in the show jumping. So after two legs, Germany draw level with Great Britain at the top of the series standings. Poland in joint third after their first outing of the season. The series now takes a break as we look ahead to the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Join us at Arudupan in August for the third leg of the FEI eventing Nations Cup series of 2021.